I'm going to talk about voting and how it was not available to everyone. In the 19th century democracies, you had to be a property holder to vote, and you had to be a man. So only reasonably well-off men could vote. This rule was dropped in most places during the mid-1800s. For example, in France, most men, rich or poor, could vote by 1848, but French women had to wait almost 100 years longer. In 1893, New Zealand was the first country in the world to give all adults, including women, the vote to vote. And in, in 1906, Finland was the first country in Europe to give women the right to vote. Women could not only vote, they could run for political office. In 1929, Ecuador was the first country in South America where women could vote. In, in 1945, Senegal and Togo the first countries in, were the first countries in Africa to give women equal voting rights. But the people they were voting for were under French control because these countries were colonies. In 1960 in Canada, First Nations people in Canada, those descended from the original inhabitants, didn't get the vote until 1960. In 1965, in the USA, in theory, black men gained the vote in the 19th century, and black women could vote from 1928, but racist laws were passed in some parts of the country to try and stop black people from voting. In 1965, the Voting Rights Act was passed to protect black voters in all parts of the country. In 1967, Australia, the country's ab aboriginal population, that is people whose ancestors were from Australia and the islands around it, finally gained the vote long after the rest of the population. In 1994, in South Africa, in South Africa, after the end of the of a racist system called apartheid, which gave white South Africans more rights, black people gained the right to vote in national elections. Nelson Mandela became president in the first fully democratic election in South Africa.